I just got a new legit kits quilt kit in the mail today. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and show you what comes in a full kit and then also how I like to organize my fabric and pattern pieces. Also, I think there's something special in this box for me. So let's open it up and see what's in it. But this is fun, this is exciting. I am an ambassador for legit kits. So I get a shirt. I also get something very special. It's a little pin that says ambassador. I love it so much. And then there's a sneak peek for one of the next quilts. So with a legit kit quilt, you get all the fabric you need. And this one has 55 shades of Kona cotton colors. And then you'll also get all of your pattern pieces. How cute is that? get a magnet, <laughs> a couple stickers. You get several different pictures and diagrams. You get a color guide with a large color square. So if you are using your fabric, your stash, you can match that fairly easily. And then you get a fabric list by code. This is alphabetical, so that helps too. You have your assembly guides. So once all of your pieces are made. This is what helps you assemble the blocks. Then you have the cut guides. And the cut guides are special to legit kits, but I really like them. I don't actually use them as the cut guide as indicated. They are uh, not to scale, but they do show kind of a general idea of how your fabric is going to be used. So this piece of fabric, you receive a 27 inch by 42 and three quarter inch piece. And then this is roughly how your pieces will line up on the, the fabric. These have a half inch seam allowance, so you have lots of room to work with. And I don't actually worry about whether or not I'm cutting this piece in this corner. What I really use it for is I mark off as I'm cutting, so that I make sure I cut the correct color. When I, when I turn to this color and I cut it, I wanna make sure I'm cutting the right one because I've made that mistake before. And by, by crossing it off as I cut, it just ensures that I'm cutting the correct piece. So we're gonna come back to this in a second. And then these are our pattern pieces. I love legit kits because even though it's a complicated looking quilt, it's broken down into blocks. So they're all about eight and a half by 11, a sheet of paper. And then when your blocks are all assembled, you assemble your blocks into rows. And that makes this complicated looking pattern actually pretty easy to do. So I actually get two kits at the same time because I make two quilts at the exact same time. My organizing and the way I put together my fabric and my pattern pages to get ready to sew will apply even if you're only making one quilt. It's the same idea. I just happen to use two layers of pattern and two layers of fabric at the same time. That's the only difference. Everything else will, will apply if you're just using one kit at a time. Actually, let me get this stuff out of the plastic so the plastic won't be rattling later. When I first get a kit, I like to organize all of my fabric and I actually use the cut guide to organize my fabric alphabetically. The cut guide comes alphabetical by fabric code of the fabric. And those codes are the same in every single legit kit. So that's consistent across the board. So you'll always have the same color, no matter what quilt kit you have. If you have BE Bluebell, it's gonna be the same throughout the quilt kits. So I take my cut guide and I actually punch holes in the short end. And I'll use this as a little booklet or binder to organize my fabric. I'm gonna punch holes in all of my cut guide pages. And then I'm gonna use my cover page and use those for my covers. And then I'm gonna use the color code pages just on the back. Once I have those holes punched, I'm gonna take a long piece of elastic and thread through like I'm binding the book. And this doesn't have to be elastic. You could use string or yarn. Some of these pages 
have more than one color on the same page. So for instance, this one here, L, V, and M. And if you want, you can copy this page or use a blank piece of paper to give each color its own page. And that'll help you keep even better track of which color goes where so that I don't make the mistake of turning to this page and maybe grabbing LV instead of M. So if you keep them separate pages, that'll help to make sure that you're grabbing the right color every time. Because I actually have two kits, I'm gonna use the cut guides from both of the kits, the ones that have two colors on one page. I'm gonna use the cut guide from the other kit and pull that in so that I actually have two pages for those two colors. Once I get my little book made, I love that the fabric comes with tags on it. I mean, and it really has to because the colors are so subtle and sometimes you have very similar colors, but the tags are very convenient because now I'm gonna use those as the tabs on my book edge. So I turn to my first page, which is Bluebell BE, and I find my fabric put it on its page and I add the tag to the page edge. Next one is BL Blue and I'll just keep going through all of my fabrics until they're all in my book and all of the tags are on the page. Something that's just really interesting to me, the last kit I did was a flamingo and I feel like I get to really know the quilt and know their personality almost. And so for instance, in Flamingo, there was a ton of sea glass. And in this one, there's just a little piece. And so it's, it's a nice change. I got so, I got a little tired of sea glass in the last one. So it's nice to just have a little bit. There's gonna be a lot of something else in this one. So it's a seemingly ridiculous thing to focus on, but for me, this is just the personality of the polar bear quilt now. Once my book is all made, I'm ready to start sewing. And what I do is pull out the largest pattern pieces first. Some of these blocks will only have one piece. That's the whole block. You don't have to do any assembling. So I'm gonna pull those out first and sew those blocks first. That accomplishes two things. The first one is I pull out the largest pieces of fabric and therefore I make a big dent in my book and my fabric pieces and I have less to deal with later. Second thing it accomplishes is I get a lot done with very little work. So this piece, for instance, only has three pieces of fabric in it. So if I can get this one done first, I'll have a whole block done and feel like I've really accomplished something. So I like to get the big ones done first and then work my way down to the smaller ones. So I'm gonna pull my largest blocks out of my pile of pattern pieces. Already I can tell there's gonna be a pretty easy quilt to make. There's lots of large blocks and large pieces of fabric. So it'll feel like you're making really good progress as you sew. So this one only has two pieces of fabric and you're done with that block. Okay, I've pulled out the larger blocks and this is huge because I've essentially split the pattern pieces in two. These are the larger ones and these are a little bit smaller. But by the time I get done with my larger blocks, I'm gonna be halfway done. That's super exciting. What I really like about this book method is that it's so easy to turn to a page and grab the fabric real quick. I can open this up and lay it flat and then just pull the fabric and throw it back down. And I don't really have to worry about sliding in and out of like a sheet protector. I know that works for some people, but for me, I'm just too lazy for that. So I like that I can open to a page and grab the fabric real quick and throw it back in there without having to do too much shuffling. Also, and a little bit of exciting news, this kit will be made into a mini version with just the little baby bear. So if you've been wanting to try legit kits, but maybe didn't wanna do the full quilt to start, this would be a great way to get started with just a little baby bear mini quilt. That's how I like to organize my legit kits. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and come back for part two where I show you how I start actually cutting the pattern pieces and sewing them together.